Now let's look at simplifying sets. Now here the most important thing you got to remember is that root of a square number, so say for example x squared, we can cancel the root and the square. So the square root and the squares will cancel each other and only x will be left over. Okay, so that's all you need to remember here guys. Have a look. So if you're square rooting a square number, the square root and the square cancels itself, just the x is left. So, let's try question 10. Simplify the following. Now we know that root 4 is root 2 squared, because 4 is 2 squared, isn't it? So the answer is just 2, because the square root and the square just cancels itself out. Okay? And root 9? Nine? 9 is 3 squared, so again, the answer is just 3. Root 100? 100, 100 is 10 squared, so only 10 is left over. That's the pattern. Now D, root 1? One. 1 is 1 squared, so just the answer is 1. Okay? That's pretty much it guys, so that's how the, all the squares and the square root works. 11. Simplify. Okay, root 12. Now root tw uh, 12 is not a perfect square, is it? But what I can do is, I know that 12 is 4 times 3, isn't it? And I know that 4 is 2 squared. 4 is a square number because it's 2 squared. So I can simply, because this is the same thing as root 2 squared times root 3, we can separate out those sets. Root 2 squared is just 2. So it's 2 with the root 3. So only what you square, you can just take that 2 out of the set. Okay, that's what it means. So the whole thing doesn't have to be a square number. A part of it can. B, 24. Again, 24 is not a perfect square. It's not a square number. But I know that 24 is 4 times 6. And 4, as we said here, it's 2 squared. So the 2 can pop out, so it's just 2 root 6. Only the 6 remains inside the root. Now C, 72. Again, 72 is not a square number, but I know that 72 is 36 times 2. You might have to do a bit of trial and error. Use your calculator a little bit to figure that out. So always trying to find square numbers. So if it doesn't divide by 4, maybe you can divide by 30, um, the next square number, 16 or 36. It has to be the highest square number possible. So you can see that 30, uh, 72 is divisible by 36, which is the highest possible square number. And we know that 36 is 6 squared, so the 6 pops out, so it's just 6 root 2. So the 2 remains inside the root. Okay? D, 125. 125, do a bit of calculation guys, do a bit of trial and error. I want you to try and figure this out. Well, I know that 125 is 25 times 5. And you know that 25 is a square number, isn't it? It's 5 squared. So the 5 pops out and the other 5 just remains in. So 5 root 5 is your answer. Okay? So whatever is not a square number, you just leave it inside the root. That's the idea. Simplify 3 root 18. Again, 3 is already outside the root, so we don't have to worry too much about 3. Let's worry about the root 18. 18 is 9 times 2. 9 is a perfect square. It's a square number. 9 is 3 squared. So the 3 can pop out the front, so it becomes 3 times 3, and the 2 remains inside the root. And simplify this, guys. 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 root 2 is your answer. B, 2 root 75. 75 is 25 times 3. And again, guys, you might, thus, you might not get this so quickly like I do. You might have to do a bit of working. You might have to do a bit of trial and error with your calculator. So don't worry if you can't get the answer straight away like I do. Okay? Now 75, as I said, it's 25 times 3. I know that 25 is 5 squared. And make sure you guys, you always keep that 2 out the front. Don't take that away for some reason. And because 5 squared, we can take the 5 out, can't we, with the 2. So this becomes 2 times 5, and the 3 remains inside the root. So 2 times 5 is 10, so 10 root 3 is your final answer. C, 4 root 27. Now 27 is, can you think of any square number that multiplies to get 27? 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So 9 is 3 squared, so that 3 can pop out the front, so it becomes 4 times 3, and then 3 remains inside the root. 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 root 3 is what we get. Okay, root 32. 32. Guys, have a go. 
can you tell me what square number multiplies to get 32? Well, I can kind of think of it straight away that it's going to be 16, because 16 times 2 is 32, isn't it? And 16 is 4 squared. So that 4 can pop out with the 5, so it's 5 times 4 root 2. It's 20, 20 root 2. Get the idea, guys? That's not too hard, is it? Okay, now we have cubic roots, cube roots. We've got a root of a 3 in the power. No, this time, remember how in I told you in the beginning that this one is x, isn't it? Now, guys, this is called a square root. Square root means it has a little invisible 2 out the front. If there's nothing there, it means it's an invisible 2. So that's why the square and square root and the square cancels. Now, when we have cube roots like that, the inside, if, it's, if you can see that this one is something cubed, then similarly, the cube root and the cube cancels to get just x as well. Okay, so whenever you have square roots, try to look for square numbers. But whenever you have cubic, cube roots, find cubic numbers. That's the whole idea. So here, cube root of 8. Is 8 uh, cubic of any, any number? I know that 8 is 2 cubed. It's 2 times 2 times 2, isn't it? So, as I said, 8 is 2 cubed. The cube root and the cube cancel, so only the 2 is your answer. Only the 2 remains. Do you get the idea? So it's pretty much the exact same pattern of the, as the square numbers. So just treat it the exact same way. Let's try the other one. 125 is again a cubic root. So 125, can anyone tell me what cube root of some, what cube is 125? Well, I know that 125 is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 cubed. So again, the cube root and the cube cancels, we just have the 5 left over. That is the final answer. Cube root of 81. 81 is, do you guys want to have a go and try to figure that out? It's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. It's not a cube root of anything, but I know that 81 is 3 to the power of 4. It can't get a cube root. Nothing cube is 81. So that's why I just left it like this. But guys, remember, cubics, cube roots only cancel with the cube. So what I'm going to do is group these. Group the first three together because 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed. So leave the other odd 3 out. Just leave that alone as it is. So now, only this one goes out of the root. So it's 3, which goes out cube root of just that one left inside here. So it's same as what we did with the square numbers. Remember how we left whatever's odd inside? Let's try another one. Cube root of 32. Now I know that 32 is not going to be a perfect number. It doesn't, there's no perfect cube. So what I'm going to do is change that to twos. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Now guys, if you don't know how to calculate these, you can use the tree method the tree diagram. So you put the 32 at the top and then trying to break it down into its prime factors. So I can clearly see, clearly see that two, 32 is divisible by 2. So I'm going to put 2 here. Ask yourself, 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16, do the same thing. I know that 16 is again divisible by 2. So 2 times 8 is 16. I know that 8 is divisible by 2. So it's 4 divisible by 2 again, 2. So you always look at your outer left answers, these ones. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. That's how I get that. So always use a true diagram whenever you're confused or can't really tell what prime factors it divides by. Okay, so utilize this method. It's always a good idea to utilize these diagrams. So, again, as I said, cube roots, we can only cancel with the cubes. So I'm going to try to group them into threes. There's only two left over, so I can't group them anymore. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cubed. Leave these alone. So this one can jump out the front like that. And 2 times 2, which is 4, leaves inside, left inside the cube root. Okay, so we can't take that out. 
Does that make sense, guys? You can kind of see it, right? 14, let's do a similar thing, but this time we have the power of the root as being 4. So you should know that it has to be power of 4 in order for you to cancel these. So it's just x like that. So make sure this time you look for powers of 4. So 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So this, power, this root and the 4 cancels, we just have the 2 left over. Like we use, like I said in this rule here. So let's try the next one. 4 root 81. 81 is 3 to the power of 4. Again guys, you might not be able to do this straight away. You can use your calculator to do a bit of trial and error. And therefore the answer is just 3. Easy, isn't it? And then C, okay, well I've told you that pretty quickly. 64 is not a perfect root of 4. So what I did was break it out 14 times 4. Because I know that, sorry, 16 times 4. Because 16, remember how I said 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So I can change this to 2 to the power of 4. So this 2 can jump out the front like that. And only the 4 remains inside the root. Okay, get the idea? So again, you have to do a bit of working out here. And then 2187, again, you'll have to spend some time doing some trial and error, but that one is 81 times 27. Okay, do a bit of trial and error. You can, do, you can take multiple steps if you need to, guys. Now, I know that 81 is 3 to the power of 4, and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. Now, we need 4, powers of 4, to, in order to um, take it out of the root, right? So only the 3 can go outside the root. So it's going to be 3 and then 4 root 27. 3 cubed is 27, which goes inside the root. Okay. So that is the idea. So as the power gets bigger, it does get a little bit more confusing. So whenever you get higher powers, spend a bit more time. 15, simplify. Okay. Cube root. Cube root of 135. So we have to look for powers of 3, don't we? 135 is... 27 times 5. Now guys, if you can't really tell straight away, again, you can use the um, tree method. So have a look. 135. What prime factor is 30, 135 divisible by? Well, it ends in 5, so I know that it's going to be divisible by 5, isn't it? 135 divided by 5 is? It's going to be um, 25, isn't it? And then we know that, oh, sorry, that was wrong, wasn't it? 135 divided by 5 is 27. Sorry, my mistake. And then you can see that 27, if I divide that by 3, I get 9. And if I divide that by 3, I get 3. And then that we can't go any further, right? So we just look at the outermost left-hand side numbers. It's 5 times 3, times 3, times 3. And you can see that 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed, which is a cubic number. 3 cubed is the 27 that I have here. So 27, as I said, it's 3 cubed. So if you can't figure it out straight away, you can use the tree and try to group the 3's together. So here, 3 cubed, so the 3 can jump out the front. So it's 3 and then the cube root of 5, which is remaining inside the root. Get the idea, guys? So utilize the tree diagram whenever you're confused. Okay, so if it's a cube root, trying to group three numbers together, groups of three. If it's a square root, trying to group twos. And if it's a four root, you group four um, of the same kind. Okay? 96. Okay, we've got a power of 4 outside the root, so we've got to find groups of 4 of the same kind. Now, 96, guys, I can see that it's 16 times 6. Guys, again, you might have to figure this out by using a bit more time. Do some working out. Now, 100, uh, 16, we know that that's 2 to the power of 4, isn't it? So, 2 can pop out, and only the 6 remains inside the root 4. Okay? And then C, 2 with the cube root of 512. So leave the 2 out the front until the very end. 512, it's 64 times 8. Yeah? 
and 64 is 4 cubed. So the 4 can pop out the front with the 2, so 2 times 4, and only the 8 remains inside the root. 2 times 4 is 8, so that's what the final answer is. Let's do another one. Again, we've got power of 4, so spend some time, guys. Try that go. Have a go if you like to have a bit of a challenge, guys. Have a go. Stop for a moment and check your answers with me at the end, okay? So 640, that's 16 times 40, isn't it? Now, I know that 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So, the 2 can pop out and it becomes 3 times 2, root 40. And then it's going to be 6, root 4, root 40. So, with these guys, trying to find square numbers. Square numbers such as... 4, 1, 4, 16, these numbers. And then whenever you have cube roots, look for cubic numbers, like 1, 8, 16. These numbers are cubics. And say, for example, with the um, power of 4, look for powers of 4 numbers. So like 16, these numbers are powers of 4, or even 64. These numbers are 4 cubed, isn't it? So see if these, these big numbers are divisible by those numbers. Um, to in order to try to group them and grab it out of the square root. That's the idea. So you have to look for the powers of whatever's outside the root. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so the bigger ones might have confused you a little bit, but hope you get the idea. Okay, so that concludes the second part.